that's what that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Commanders and the Browns, and it's all up next. We are just off the shores of Lake Erie in downtown Cleveland, Ohio, as we get set for football here at the always rockin' Cleveland Browns Washington Commanders taking on the Cleveland Browns. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you... The Commanders offense after a long summer getting ready to go for the first time here in the preseason. And the one to watch is going to be this man, their rookie wide receiver. And this is going to be his first run through with his new team. He's got a real opportunity, I think, to be an impact player this year. So he'll be looking to do some positive things in the time that he's going to be out there here in this first preseason game. Zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Set going to go to the air right away. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Now a quick slam as the throw is complete. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. It's our guys' defense is when they see some of that routes
and stopping him for a minimal game. Brissett on third and two. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Now we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Here's a second and five. Again, it's Robinson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we have them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 22 and a first down. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball but can still run as well because when you run against six DBs with some bigger offensive linemen, you often get this result. First down, Brissett. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. On second down, a run with Gibson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Now Brissett. Pass taken in. Touchdown, Logan Thomas from 21 yards away. And the Commanders will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter, that's when the knockout occurs. And yeah, becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. 
Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. First and ten, it's Robinson. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. 38-yard line, second and nine. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's third and nine. From the gun, here's Brissett. stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'd be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. Yeah. First off, my name told, but it's really Toby Chuku. Got a BM that keep my season to keep me full for cool up when platinum fubu on the southwest eating fufu and the hammer that i keep don't come with nails that nails that nails that look i ain't know who bill burr was until i met the man had my married to the street without a wedding band i done peeped that all the these rappers won't be second hand my pop said i'd be broken barely eat i should have been the man yeah cause i'm way 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 up long ways from the days i'd evade ballet stores couldn't pay nowadays all the cake i make us here's a note to buy about a hundred trucks from mercedes i resage it chuku is it then my babies label hippie trying to sway me pay me pay me bro the game 2020 you can see it plainly can't nobody play me i kill everything innately at the helm of the mothership of drip you can see me leaking be quiet, a real speaking voice of God. Every word I jot, feel the spirit breathing. Best new artist, but the way I cook, very seasoned. Everything around me moving, like a chopper. Usher told me do it my way, Frank Sinatra. Been a shot to me, then with my cotton now I got him raving how I'm big on lines. Hello, Denata. Sheesh. Home guard, I'm a dog, bro. Need a clergy collar dodging fleas from you, dog. Adversely, I affect the demon with this God flow. Then put out my queen and yell out bravo. Yeah, we on baby number quattro. Yeah, my whole crib look like an art show. Yeah, pockets on avocado. I'm like.
even in preseason, it hurts to lose.